Today's Mike's Tech and Toys and Slot Cars video is powered by Scale Extra, a Hornby Hobbies brand. Ho oh, ho, oh, yes, I've been waiting for this one. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Yes, this is the Scale Extric 1977 New York City Taxi. And first and foremost, a huge thank you to Hornby Hobbies Scale Extric for sending this to me as a free sample. And what a beautiful sample it is. Oh my gosh. As I said, this is the Scalextric 1977 New York City Taxi. Oh mate, how good does this look? And can I just say from the get-go, you don't have to live in New York or be an American to appreciate such an iconic vehicle. It's known worldwide. Do you know, next to this, the only other cab or taxi that you can put on the same sort of pedestal in terms of its iconicness <laughs> is the London Black Cab. Um, yes, the New York City taxis. Three cabs just came in and need repairs. What are you doing in these glad rags? But because you said I could have the day off. And you know, a few months ago when I found out that Scalextric were going to produce this beautiful specimen right here, it reminded me of this. Right, so first things first, let's get to the front of this beautiful vehicle. I am absolutely loving, as always, how Scalextric do their chrome sections of a vehicle. Would you look at that front grille and the front bumper? It's gorgeous! However, what's that? It doesn't come off, I tried to take it off, but again, I'm not complaining. This is a free sample. And there, look, loving the little registration plate right there, and the badge, and fun fact, these yellow taxis were referred to as checker cabs. Not just because of the checkered detail you have going along the side and around the roof, which I think looks awesome by the way, very well executed, but it was actually the manufacturer of the vehicle's brand name. Yes, these cars, well, the real version, were made by checker motors. And then we come to the awesome looking headlights, looking very authentic. This thing is an exact replica of the real version, and I love it. Again, have a closer look. Very expertly done, down the side, on the top. There you go, all the way around there, and I'm loving the yellow that is used on this model. Now, Keep in mind, you all have different screens and monitors and TVs, so the tone of yellow you're seeing may be slightly different to what I'm seeing with the naked eye. Now, sticking to the roof area, right there, that bad boy, <laughs> tells you whether this cab is ready to pick you up or not. Is it ready to take a fare? And as you can see there, this one says off duty on either side. Of course, it all depends whether it's lit or not. And in the middle, it's got 1P31. I would suggest that would ID the actual taxi. In fact, that's probably the same number. In fact, it's not probably, it is. It will be the same number that's on the medallion license number, which on this model, I don't see. You know, there's like a little badge. However, you do see that same license number right there on the rear door. Nice. And what I also love, just like the real version, right there, it's giving you your taxi fares. So you've got your initial charge and everything else after that. Look, it's even got a night surcharge. And don't think I haven't noticed these amazing wheels. <laughs> nice fat tires of its time period. And those awesome looking chrome hubcaps there. 
very nice. Right, so what's a taxi without its driver? And as always, as I would come to expect, you've got a very decent looking driver in this taxi. And what I love about this Scalextric Model 2, it even has that white thing right there. That, in the real world, would have been the lever that the driver would have turned or moved to activate or deactivate the meter. And yes, I love how they have done the steering wheel and the actual driver, how he's holding the steering wheel. Now you may think, that's very basic. Well, no, if you look at some Scalex trick cars and other brands, they tend to cut corners with the hands. Sometimes the hands look like a pair of mittens. <laughs> but on this one, you can see, um, yeah, they've pretty much done individual fingers. Well, the fingers are almost individual. <laughs> and I'm loving, look, that they've even included the gear shift. Right, so yeah, loving the detail at the front with the driver, with the steering wheel and all the equipment that it's got there. Very good. Now, let's have a look in the back. Now, you would be forgiven for thinking, why have they put two uh, freestanding chairs in the back of this vehicle? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not freestanding. That's exactly how the seats were. There were a number of seats. Of course, you've got the big seat at the back, but then you had these individual ones right here, these round ones. This really is just like the real thing. Although the back seat could have had a bit more detail. Other than that, overall, I think the detail inside this Scalextric yellow taxi is awesome. But to be fair, I've got to keep reminding myself that these Scalextric cars are considered a toy brand. So I shouldn't be expecting too much in terms of details. It's not a standalone model that you just put on a shelf. You're supposed to put these bad boys on the track and have fun. But again, another reason why I appreciate Scalextric, because even though it's a toy brand, they do pay attention to certain details. And talking about detail, let's have a look at the back. Loving the rear lights, as you can see there, there's like a triple red lens on each side and of course you've got the uh, registration plate down there in the center and <laughs> I'm loving the do not tailgate you've got on there and again the chrome the chrome around this thing is awesome and again this is all of its time period tiny little exhaust pipe there <laughs> nice ah look the taxi is waiting in front of the car elevator because... It's time to take it to the mechanics, the mechanics garage, to have a look under the hood, as it were. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna cost ya. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm pretending to be a mechanic. Um, yeah. What I love about this, this is the first time I'm opening up a Scalextric slot car on the channel in the correct environment. <laughs> um, there's a reason why I have that cable in focus and not the chassis. And that's because it has confirmed something for me which makes me happy. I wasn't too sure if the light on the top of the taxi would light up or not. And the fact that there's a cable that I had to disconnect to separate the chassis from the top of the vehicle confirms everything. So that's nice. Right, the chassis. Right, so as I have mentioned before when I opened my very first Carrera car on the channel, there's a lot less going on inside a Scalextric car compared to a Carrera car. But essentially, they do the same thing, so I'm not sure Anyway, this bad boy right here, mm, it's a sidewinder. I do prefer an inline. However, if you look at how the actual taxi is designed and the interior design with the back seats and everything, it's totally understandable that this has to be a sidewinder. As you can see there, you've got your front lights and your rear lights and not too dissimilar to uh, the Carrera, in fact, it's much bigger on the scale trick. You've got your circuit boards that handles the lighting. And here, look, here's the rest of the vehicle, the top part. And as you can see there, there's no way 
they could have fit an inliner system here with the motor with all of that going on because of the detail in the car so i'm not mad at it i actually love that they put the detail in the car as opposed to pretending that there's back seats and all that sort of thing. And, <laughs> I'll find this funny, look, he's got legs, but no feet. Right, now that I've got it all back together again, let's see if everything works as it should. Oh, and of course, this is what it looks like underneath your magnets. I've shown you the motor inside. <laughs> That's the first. Um, your guide, your braids, and the little door if you want to put a digital chip in. Do you know what? I better get this on the track. This guy here has been trying to hail this taxi since the beginning of the video. <laughs> Hey Taxi! This is the Scalextric 1977 NYC Taxi. Once again, thank you to Hornby Hobbies Scalextric for sending this out to me as a free sample. I love it. It looks great. It ticks all the boxes. Yes, there's one or two little flaws on the finish, but hey, it's toy grade, but it still looks amazing. <laughs> 